What is up guys, Mittens the Mailbox here, back with another video, and today I'm going to be recording myself playing my own map, yes. So basically, I'm going to be showing you a part one of this, because, because what I've actually built is, well, a pretty good amount, but not done, so... It, it is going to be a little bit difficult because I'm going to be holding my phone and playing the map at the same time, so. Yeah. So it says, read all the signs you see, turn around, they contain important sometimes information, and there's the actual name of the map is going to be called Hunt for the Rainbow Beacon. I am making this map for Unspeakable and Shark, so. And then there's my name. That that is my Minecraft name. If you if any of you guys want to know, pretty cool creator, super fun map. So yeah. Oh yeah, and there's one more sign up here. Walk the door to begin. Yeah, I've I have been working on this for a few months now, on and off. So this is probably going to be one of my longest videos. <laughs> so it says stand on the sand block. If you can't see, there's a sand block right there. So. You stand on that and flick the lever, and then boop, you get, oh, oh, it didn't work, okay. Yeah, my computer is laggy, so sometimes stuff doesn't work. Wait, I know what the problem is. Here, wait guys, I will be If right. you look, I've been working on this all morning, so yeah. What I, I I just put myself into adventure mode. And I think that might be the problem. Let's see if it works now. There we go, yeah, and then you get put into a dropper. Oh yeah, and you also kind of simultaneously drown. Oh I can't Yeah. No, this is not hard. I just keep pushing T for some reason. Here, let me switch hands. That's better. So it says a long, well lit hallway. Follow it. Okay. This is all glass, as you know. I actually have this proportionized. Actually, here, let's go back and look up at the dropper so you can see how much we fell. Yeah. A pretty long way. Oh, it froze. There we go. Oh, that's why I like adventure mode, because you can't break anything. I can't accidentally click something. Okay, so this is stage one. The gateway of lava. Sounds pretty cool, my dudes. And no, this sounds pretty cool. Let's flip the lever. And these aren't really checkpoints, but I just... Thought it would be cool to have the glass like this. This was my own personal favorite sign. And then I'm gonna have to tilt the phone down a little bit so I can actually see what I'm doing. Don't want. Oh no, I fell. Oh no, I fell. Oh, that's so bad. I'm burning alive. Oh no. Oh no, my feet are burning off. Oh, this is so bad. I didn't listen to the sign. I am such an evil person. What have I done? I'm gonna burn alive and no one's ever gonna hear from me again. What? No. Okay. Yeah, the sign's supposed to be a, or a misleader. So that anyone who falls in thinks they're going to die and go back to the beginning. But. This map can be an. I'm gonna make this map to where it'll be annoying, but you can't die because I'm not that good at command blocks yet, so. Oh, yeah, the only reason I'm jumping like this is because I have to use. I can't use both my hands because of my phone. Yeah. But yeah, basically, it's a bunch of barrier blocks. 
only places where there aren't very blocks are where they're like right here or right there like those one block areas where the iron bars are so that it looks like they're touching the lava because they are touching the lava but everywhere else oh i fell off everywhere else there is barrier blocks oh yeah the original idea for the ladder was to have a vine there but then i came back after like a few days of not doing this and like the vines had grown everywhere and i'm like oh yeah that's not gonna work or it's gonna like invade everywhere so it's like pretty simple parkour it encourages people not to fall in here you know what let me do this parkour real quick and i'll see you guys in a second you guys that i finished it that didn't actually that actually didn't take very long it's just hard to do stuff with both hands so yeah that's another one of them this time it's orange This is actually one of my favorite parts. This is how this looks. So what you have to do is when you look up, you're like, oh, look, there's a hole up there. Oh, I have to get up there. So, let's see if I can do this. You have to, like, get in the middle of the slime block, flip the lever, and open your inventory. Yes, you have to open your inventory. But no, you have to flip the lever and go over it's actually a very swift motion if you're in the middle. If you hit one of the walls, it gets kind of annoying, but other than that... Okay, this was probably... Oh, this took me a long time. Like, a whole day to do. Just this section right here. I'll give you an overview. Here. Let's go to overview mode for a second so you can see what it's like. Okay, we're in overview mode right now, and as you can see... It's a bunch of loops. Oh, sorry. Yeah, there's a cave system that was apparently right where I decided to build. So yeah, it's a bunch of loops. And that's the redstone here. Let's go back to the original version. Okay, we're back. And as you can see, it says stage two, the twisted library. So this is the second stage. Now, if you look over here, let me see if I can position myself. It says in inside the chest, there's a clue. So you click it. And you can collect three pieces of paper so in. And if you read them in order, it says, When on the glass stained of red, you will find a switch that opens the exit. So, most likely a lever. So let's just go inside. Now, there are a bunch of paths, because, you know, why, why not? And let's just go over here. Let's say I wanted to go back. It's not a very, er, it is kind of complex, if you don't know where you're going. Oh yeah, and right there, there's a couple stairs, because I actually built, I built some of the map on like, a, one block higher than the rest of the map, and I was just like, no, I don't want to go through doing that. So I kind of just made it that way. It's like, whoa, we found the red, we found the red the red um glass so where's the switch i don't see any switch wait <gasps> secret passageway yeah th those right here are pistons so we go in and it's like oh hey look we're at stage three guys stage three stairway to heaven i keep pushing the wrong button i swear wait let's see if i can get area stage three stairway to heaven Open it, and now it's yellow. Whoa. The stages are progressing. A long stairway. Follow the stairs. The next part is up there. Okay. We turn. Whoa, it's a tiny tunnel. Oh, look, a chest. If only it were that easy. Oh, sorry, guys. That was one idea I had, but basically, what this is this is all you're supposed to see. This was like one idea I had to do, but it didn't really work out. So it's basically gonna say this: if only it were that easy. So then you take it. Oh, mouse, mouse, don't do this to me. Okay, well, let's just say we take it and we put it right there. 
But then we turn around and we're like, oh, open chest first. Okay, I did that. Foot believer. Oh, we got a painting. Yes. And it says, is this the only painting around? Um. Actually, didn't we see that painting earlier? Yeah, we did. Okay, well, now that we found the painting, let's put this over here so we can remember that we just to, like, have it. And let's go in. <gasps> Whoa, we, we found it. We, we, there's a secret passageway. Guys, we are advancing. To truly, we, 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 to truly know the way. Flip it lever. Hashtag January means. Yes, this is actually, this part I actually just built this morning. So, this is the newest edition part. Like, this whole painting and everything. <gasps> A floor, the floor opened up. Let's go in. Yay! Whoa. So, yeah, there, I've just, I put that piston in. Oh, I forgot to reset this part. It's okay. But look, this took so long. You don't even know. I had to carve out this room. I had to make the floor, then put all the sea lanterns in, then the water, and then the glass panes. I actually had it on one color of glass pane, and then changed it to cyan. It was like blue, like the original dark blue pane. And then I wanted it cyan, because I'm like, cyan actually looks a little bit better. And then I had to do the roof, because the water was like messing me up. Ugh. It took a while. So as you can see, there's another hole right here. And this one's a little bit more difficult. Oh, to position myself, I, I'll have to fix that. Let's see if we can do this. Oh. oh, yes. Oh, we got it. Oh, I didn't think we made it. And that's going to have to be the end. Because this is where I just started building, so let's see if I can get this correct. And since I'm in offline mode, you can't see my skin right now, but yeah, that's gonna have to be that's gonna have to be the end of part one, everyone. Uh, I'm gonna I'll put this video up, and I know you guys have heard this so many times from all of the YouTube channels, but since but. Don't forget to subscribe. It actually means a lot to me. Because I have seen so many other YouTubers. And they're like really big. And I'm like, oh. It'd be so cool if I had like a, a running YouTube channel. So this is probably going to be. This will be one of my first Minecraft videos ever. And it will be a tutorial video. For when I send out. So for when I send this. For when I put this video out. And the map out. So. Keep watch for part two and maybe part three. So for when I'm done with this map. This video was sponsored by Flame Sniper 25. Don't forget to leave a like on this video and subscribe to Mitten D Mailbox for more. So yeah. Bye everyone. Mitten the Mailbox signing out.